So there's new evidence. It's not really new evidence. It's old evidence. But now the feds is basically saying, well, from what I'm hearing, there's a good chance that the feds is going to use this old new evidence in a manner that is going to definitely link Takashi 69 directly to the criminal acts that were or were not committed in his name. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? All right, so, yeah. So, do y'all all remember that that uh, recording that came out recently? First, TMZ had it out, I heard. I'm not sure who had it first, but shout out to TMZ. Shout out to DJ Academics. They both put up the video. It was old video. It wasn't really even new stuff. It was stuff that people already knew about or should have said, uh, I, I don't know how new or old the video was. Let me not say that. Or how uh, widely circulated the video was. Let me not say that neither. But it was obviously taken around the time uh, that the incident happened and around the time that the actual recording of the video happened was around the same time that Tato actually got shot at in Manhattan. Now... On the video, we can hear Takashi 69 say that he's going to put a 30 pack on him. Also, in same said video, Takashi 69 says, Where are you at? Are you at home or are you at Chief Keith's hotel? The place that was actually shot at was Chief Keith's hotel. Now, how can you? Well, oh, yeah, they also got the two guys, by the way. I believe they actually arrested two guys. That was involved in that particular uh incident i believe that they did the 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 weird thing about that is after the two individuals got arrested we didn't hear about it anymore and usually when that happens i mean i don't know how true this is but usually when i hear about something like that happening there's a uh investigation into something a shooting uh it's a high profile shooting some people get arrested and then all of a sudden we never hear about those people again ever Usually that makes me believe that there's a good chance that those people might be cooperating. I don't know. I'm not saying that they are. I don't know. This is just, you know, I'm just throwing that out there. It just would lead me to believe that. I said this previously also, by the way, um, when they first came up missing, you know, when they got arrested, then all of a sudden we don't hear no more about them. Like, that's odd. Not for nothing. You, usually these guys get arrested. They're going to be doing perp walks. They're going to be giving us these, you know, you understand what I'm saying? Anyway, let's move on. So uh, when this when this particular video came out, um, DJ Academics was getting criticized at one point because it was like, that's your homeboy. How could you have your homeboy, you know, looking crazy out here by you putting out a video where he's saying such damning evidence? Now, I just want to point something out real quick and then I'm going to move on to my next point. The thing I want to point out is I personally did a video on uh, with, or should I say, Snow, Billy right and snow billy said a lot of things in the interview right so far we haven't seen any charges added due to the things that snow billy was saying now some of the things that he say is there a possibility that p charges could go out on people absolutely he said a, a lot of stuff but we haven't seen in this particular case any new charges but but if this is true if they are actually going to be using that as evidence that video as evidence if they're actually going to be using that video as evidence that tmz put out there and that takashi's friend um dj academics put out there then those two people or those two individuals have purposely or, or should i say have actually made videos that are now going to be used as evidence i just want to throw that out there anyway so the reason why this is such a big thing, or should I say uh, that they're going to, that it's a good possibility that they're going to use it is because you have to understand 
The state's case is that this was an ongoing criminal organization, right? That's the state's case. Now, there have been numerous different, or should I say numerous other incidents that they're also accusing this particular uh, group that they're calling a criminal organization or criminal gang or whatever they're calling them, have fired shots within city limits. Allegedly. You have the time that they... They have uh, an individual hop out a whip, hop out a car, and the individual looked like it might have been shoddy, and then they have another individual hop out after the individual that looks like it might have been shoddy, and that individual looks like it might have been Takashi with the colored hair and everything. That they this this is what the the, the government is most likely saying. Then you had the other incident where they were at the Barclays Arena. So right now, it just looks to me like all of those shootings that was happening, they're going to link them all. They're going to link all of these shootings. They're going to show that these people are a menace to public safety. And then besides those shootings, there's the incident that there's an individual on camera. That looks like he's robbing some people inside of a uh, a building, a, a vestibule or whatever you want to call it. And the individual looks like shoddy. And the individual is holding a weapon. So they're going to, in my opinion, say that these guys was a criminal organization that, that, was, that was a uh, menace to society. No pun intended. And that's what they're going to try to take them all down on. So by them adding this particular situation where Takashi 69 was on the phone talking about putting a 30 pack on somebody's head. This might be their way of saying that he was the head. That even if other people were well, gang members before he got there, the fact that he was the breadwinner and was in charge allegedly, allegedly, of the gang's finances, he was then the head of the organization. That's, that's what it looks like they might be trying to accuse them of. Just my opinion. Anyway, leave uh, comments down below. I want to know what you guys think about this. Uh, personally, I think this kind of obvious. He was not the head of anything. It's kind of obvious. But at the end of the day, when you have an individual talking about how they're going to put money on somebody's head and the government is coming after you and they want things to look a certain way, they're going to spin it a certain way. So I, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'll keep y'all updated. Um, believe me, as, as much as these court dates are so far off, it's still an open case. So there's still going to be information that it will be leaked and information that will be coming out. Like uh, for everybody that don't know, one of the shootings happened as with uh, Casanova, Casanova uh, two times, right? That's one of the one of the one of the shooting situations happened there. So they're also gonna probably try to say that not only are they a criminal organization that's a menace to you know regular civilians, but they're also trying to fight for territory with other alleged quote unquote gangs or criminal organizations you understand what i'm saying I, I just believe they're gonna try to take these guys off the streets i don't know how uh takashi 69 or shoddy or anybody else is gonna separate themselves from these accusations that the state is making but they dug themselves a pretty deep hole with not just the things that we know about, you know, the, the information in which we all currently have but they've also imagine Imagine the recordings and the pictures that have not been made public. Just imagine. These guys don't look to me like anybody that's going to record incriminating shit about themselves and then say, oh, I better erase that. They just don't seem this way to me. They just seem like even if they recorded something that they know they should erase, they're going to keep it for future prosperity so they can look at it later. That's just my opinion. I can't be wrong. Let me know what y'all guys think. 
Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.